Hey guys, welcome back. We are live in the Rachel Ray Show Prep Kitchen. I'm Jeanette, this is my friend Grant. Hello. And today we are celebrating the dog days of summer. That's right. Smack in the middle of August, and guys, it is hot outside. So, so humid, so hot. So we've got some recipes today to celebrate these days and um, really just get your hot dog on. Who doesn't love a good hot dog, right? I know, especially in the summertime. It's oh, my go-to grilling it's item so is the hot good. dog. So today we've got four different recipes for you guys of some of our fun favorite uh, hot dog recipes. We want to hear from you guys as always. Make sure to comment and let us know what are your go-to hot dog recipes, any favorite hot dog toppings, what's your favorite type of hot dog, where are you guys from? We like hearing from you guys. Um, just say hey if you want. And and um, so we're gonna get started today. You notice I'm holding this bag. Um, and if you happen to catch this uh, broadcast on Thursday, you know that we tested out the drink of the summer, which was called Frosé. And that recipe is gonna be up, that recipe is up on the website and we heard from tons of you and you guys really enjoyed it this weekend. So one of our friends, Anna, commented last week and she said, she challenged us to Frosecco. Which, Which I'm is, excited we're about. so excited. I think it could be the next big thing. We, Prosecco could be the next Prose. So keep watching, guys. We're going to see. So the technique was you took one zip top bag, you filled it with ice, um, and then you topped it with a lot of salt. And salt lowers the melting point of ice. So you make it colder than cold. Like, feel that. Feel how cold that bag is. You can actually see in That's here. It's very like, cold. it's real. It's like a science yeah. experiment. Um, and so we've got a bag inside of here filled with Prosecco, which is everybody's favorite sparkling wine. Um, so we're gonna shake this up and see what happens. We haven't tried this yet, but we had so much fun with Frosé that we thought, yeah. why not try it? Um, Lucretia commented and said, hi, great show, love hi, it. Hi, thanks We love Lucretia. you, Lucretia, thanks for watching. And I hope you like hot dogs, yes. because today we're making four different types of hot we dogs. Are. And I'm gonna get started on the first I one. I think you should, yeah. I'm just gonna be shaking up our Prosecco. We'll see if it works in a little bit. But Brian's um, got some great So ones. I'm going to be making a barbecue hot dog. Since mm -hmm. it is the dog days of summer, this is the ultimate summer dog. It's going to be a barbecue sauce, um, slathered hot dog with some coleslaw on top. But I'm actually going to show you guys first how to spiralize a hot dog like this. Oh. You might think this looks really weird, but it's actually really cool because what happens is the hot dog gets extra crispy and it has these little cracks in it, these little crevices that'll like pick up all those it's toppings. Such, it looks so fun. Um, so basically what you do is you put your hot dog on a skewer. Um, you could also, if you don't have skewers, you could use those leftover chopsticks that you have sitting in your counter or in your drawer. Um, and you just put it on a stick and then you take your paring knife and you just run your knife down the hot dog just like this and your knife will just kind of naturally follow you as you twist it and then you take it off of here and throw it on the grill and then once it gets hot those sort of like open up and they look just like this so once they start to crack and open up like that I'm going to start slathering my dogs with some barbecue sauce because this is a barbecue dog, It's right? like if kids didn't like hot dogs enough already. How fun is that? I know, right? isn't this fun? Um, hi to Louise from Jefferson, Nor uh, New Hampshire. She says that she enjoys watching us. Thank Ooh, you, Louise. Thanks. And Sweeta, our friend Sweeta, who tunes in a lot. How are you doing? She's throwing down and she says that Chicago has the best hot dogs. They don't have ketchup Ooh, on them. Oh, yes. I actually do love a Chicago dog. Much like other things in Chicago, though, I feel like it's so different from like a typical hot dog. It is. Um, it has a ton of stuff on it. Um, we actually made, or I made a um, Chicago dog not too long ago. You did, yeah, that recipe's a, up on the website. A hot dog. Please, that's fine. And All right, so... Sorry, um, Bryn, Brynna just says that she loves corn dogs. Ooh, we love corn dogs. I love corn dogs, too. We actually have a really great recipe on the website that Rachel did on the show yes. for a corn dog that you can make in the waffle maker, which is pretty insane. We love. can trust that recipe for you guys later. We love that one. Um, and Sandra says that she loves a whistle dog with cheese and bacon. I don't know what a whistle dog Maybe is. Neither do you I, Sandra. What's a whistle dog? Let us know. Um, Karina loves a chili cheese hot dog with onions and bacon. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yummy. So does he. Um, so I'm going to get started on our slaw topping right now. Um, so this is something that you could totally make ahead of time. Um, this is a really great topper, or you could also serve this as a side. Um, so down in here I just put some sour cream and a little bit of mayonnaise. And since this is a dog topper, I'm going to top it or put in a little bit of spicy mustard. Yeah, I love spicy mustard on my Me hot dog. Too. I like the heat from it. It's not like super spicy, but mm -hmm. it gives it that little like this tiny spicy. I agree. Really well. um, I'm going to put in a splash of apple cider vinegar, a tablespoon of brown sugar to make it nice and sweet. That'll complement the barbecue sauce really yeah. well, I think. And a little bit of salt. And pepper, of course. Mm -hmm. Anna's watching from Hawaii. Hi, Anna. Thanks for commenting. She's happy she caught us today. Aloha. Aloha, Anna. And Kathy says hi from San Antonio. Hi, Kathy. Hello, Kathy. It must be hot in Texas. If it's this hot in New I York know. City, it must be real Weren't hot. Weren't you just telling me how it's really humid in New Jersey? It's the same as 
the Amazon. I was watching the news last night, and the weatherman said that the humidity is so bad in this area, it's actually the same as in the Amazon. That's pretty And nice. that's the rainforest. That's insane. So, <laughs> actually, you guys should make some Prosecco, because I'm watching it come together, and my hands are freezing. Oh, this wow. Is one, yeah. this, is, <laughs> this is one way to my stay cool. Chilling. This is one way to stay cool this summer. Um, if you guys are just tuning in, we are right in the middle of the dog days of summer. Grant is almost done with his first uh, hot dog recipe. We've got four for you today. This is barbecue hot dog, which is so good. Yeah. So I just added in one bag of slaw mix. Um, you could use col or just a, a cabbage and shred it up if you like, but I like to get a little help from the store every now and then and use the, the kind from the bag. I'm going to flip these hot dogs one more time and give them a little brush, and then we'll be ready to um, build a dog. Mm -hmm. How's our, for, or how's our Prosecco coming along? Our Prosecco is coming along really great. Ooh, it's just squirting me all over. Uh -oh. um, I think the bag may have broken a little bit. Um, we, it, it's, it's looking a little, it's looking slushed up. This is going to be a nice, icy, cold, refreshing. Yeah. You know, our, our girl Rachel loves some Prosecco. I think she would absolutely love this frozen totally. Prosecco. Yeah, drink. We're going to let her know if it works out. Um, Renee commented that she, you got to love Grant Melton with a heart emoji. Hello, Renee. You Thanks do got to love watching. Grant Melton. <laughs> Um, so I'm about to build one of our barbecue hot dogs, mm. our first of four hot dogs today. Um, so I have our barbecue brushed spiral cut hot dog. I'm going to yeah. place that down into the bun. That is just so fun. Isn't that cool? Look yeah. at that. Check that out. And I love those, like, when you spiral cut it, it really picks up all that barbecue sauce, which yeah. is really yummy. So you get a ton of barbecue And any good toppings, there. really. It would hold in relish or that Absolutely. slaw. It's going to kind of suck yeah. it in. Or if you like nacho dogs, cheese sauce would be really good on the spiral cut dog. I'm making a cheese sauce a little bit later. So I'm topping this with a little bit of our cold cloth, and then since this is a barbecue dog, I'm gonna put on some of my favorite barbecue toppings: mm. some pickle chips, and then probably my favorite ingredient, some potato chips. The ones I've been eating out of that bag. I hope there's still this some bag, in there. This bag was full earlier today. Every time I walk by, I'm sneaking, by, I'm I'm sneaking a potato chip. I can't. Help I think I'm just gonna crush them up. A Do little it. Bit. Yes. Cynthia commented, and she said that her favorite way to eat hot dogs is with chili cheese and slaw, Ooh, which yummy. is delicious. Grant just made this awesome slaw for his barbecue, a hot dog. Uh, Sandra commented and she said that a whistle dog is a hot dog wrapped in bacon and cheese. I didn't know that that had a oh, name. Oh, cool, I didn't Learned either. something new every day. Thank you, Sandra, That's for awesome. commenting. And Kathy says that she likes chili cheese dogs with jalapenos instead of bacon. Ooh, I yum. love that, guys. So take a look at our first hot dog. Oh. This is our barbecue oh, dog um, with a spicy mustard coleslaw, some potato chips, and pickles on top. Jeanette, would you like to do the honors? Or I, would, is this... I would love to do the honors, but Ooh, I wanted wow. to show you guys. Anna, look at our Prosecco oh dreams. Gosh, They're all amazing. coming true. That is a slushy in a bag, and it is made of Prosecco. Ooh, so wait, here, let's switch. I'll try your. I'll try the hot dog. You can try the Prosecco. Okay, it got cool. really cold today. I maybe shook it for a little bit longer. That's a fair trade, I'd say. Mm, I think so. Hot dog for some Prosecco. Mm, yum. Ooh, yummy. Is it good? Mm-hmm. I'm surprised how thick it is, too. You could eat this with a spoon. This yeah. would be like a really good dessert. Ooh, like a granita. Or you could pour some um, orange juice in here and make like a frozen mimosa. Frimosa? Frimosa? <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Are we starting something here, guys? Because I, I think feel so. it. That's incredible. That hot dog is here, also incredible. Um, I, that the, the potato chips and the barbecue, that is just everything you love about summer. Thank and you. a hot dog. Mmm. Okay, this is better than any slushy or slippery you're getting anywhere else. I know, else. that's really oh, good. I love that. That's my such goodness. a great suggestion from Anna. Thank um, you, if you Anna. guys have any other suggestions for us to make, we're going to be back here tomorrow, oh, right? That's so And great. a few days next week as well. So let us know what you want us to make. Um, Anna commented and said that she loves hot dogs wrapped in crescent rolls with chili cheese oh, and onions. That's, that's, that's like a pig in a blanket kind insane. of thing. It's like a pig on a blanket mm. gone wild. Gone wild. <laughs> um, Catherine said she likes Colombian hot... Colum Col 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 Hawaiian dogs are the best. I don't know what that is, Catherine. I don't either. Sounds good, though. Let us know what it is. <laughs> All right, so now for my first hot dog, I am going to show you. I don't want this Prosecco to be too far. I'm going to I'm gonna stick whole straws in it. This is, I, I love it. It's, it's <laughs> delightful. Um, so we're gonna. I'm going to show you how to make. This is my homage to a New Jersey breakfast sandwich. Now, I, if you guys know me, I am born and raised in New Jersey. I live there now with my husband. And um, if you've been in New Jersey or from New Jersey, um, have friends in New Jersey, I bet you you've heard of something called a Taylor ham, egg, and cheese. And that is, um, this is Taylor ham. I'm from northern New Jersey, so we call it Taylor ham. If you're from southern New Jersey and parts of uh, Philadelphia and, Penn and Delaware, you guys call this pork roll. Any of you guys live in that area and call this uh, Taylor ham or pork roll? It's always a big debate um, around the house and whenever people are going for breakfast sandwiches. So what I did was I just split that and I cut it into three little splits into it because then once it fries up, it fries nice and flat. See that? 
So you don't want a big bubble in it. So I just give it three little slits and I just griddle that up. And so I'm gonna make a Jersey style hot dog. I've got my bun back here. Um, Grant, do you mind frying some eggs for me in that? I'm gonna make, so like I said, it's a Taylor ham egg and cheese is like the traditional Jersey breakfast sandwich. Um, so I, I'm gonna admit, I do think I'm going a little too far with this because this I don't is think so very all. indulgent I think this is perfect. and it's I'm really, really I'm just, I'm paying an homage to the breakfast sandwich I grew up eating, know and love. Any of my friends who come visit, that's the first place we stop is the bagel, the bagel place. So what I do is I just take some potato hot dog buns. You can use any kind of buns that you like. I put a little piece of Taylor ham, the griddled Taylor ham right down into there. I top it with an all beef hot dog. And then I'm gonna top this with some cheese. Like I said, the sandwich is Taylor ham, egg, and cheese. Um, Lori from Marino, Colorado is watching. Hello, Lori. Hello, Lori. And Carolina said she likes hers with spicy mayo and sriracha. Mm -hmm. That sounds yummy. All right, so I top these with a little bit of American cheese. I'm gonna pop these under the broiler. Um, those fried eggs look really like they're coming along nicely. Just gonna be, they're going to um, I'm gonna pop these under the broiler and melt the cheese. Um, Autumn said she makes jalapeno cheddar brats with sweet cornbread to make corn dogs. Yeah. Ooh, that sounds really yummy, Autumn. That's such a great idea. Um, and Margarita commented and said, what kind of barbecue sauce are you using? Um, I just use store-bought barbecue sauce. Um, you can use any kind of barbecue sauce that you'd like. And we also have uh, plenty of barbecue sauce recipes on our website. We do. I, think I brought, I brought one, I brought one last week, ago. yeah. Um, so you can use pretty much anything you'd like. Or, um, you know, you guys comment and you love sriracha. You could brush those hot dogs with sriracha if you want. I wouldn't be mad at that. No, no. Um, Nietzsche and her kids love hot dogs with mild cheddar wrapped in a tortilla and deep fried. Oh, Hello, I want to be one of your kids, Nisha. <laughs> and Maribel said, is, said hi, hi from El Paso, Texas. Hi, Maribel. Hello, Maribel. I, I, have, <laughs> I have to say, I'm loving how many people are commenting in today because we know that hot dogs are quite the hot topic. Um, who doesn't love a good hot dog? I'm going to go check on my feet. Um, and Nietzsche is watching from, or maybe that's Nikki. Could be Nietzsche, could be. I'm thinking of Nikki, um, maybe? What's that, Christina Ricci? I'm thinking of oh, Christina yeah. Ricci. So I'm like, her name must be Nietzsche, but it could be Nikki. Who knows? She, and she's watching from Rockford, Illinois. Yes, she did. All right, guys, so that cheese just melted super quick under the broiler. If you're making these on the outdoor grill, you can just move them up to the top shelf, and that cheese will melt real fast. We have a broiler in here. If you're doing it on an indoor grill pan, you can just tent it with some foil. But look at that. So that's, so far, the Taylor ham cheese on my hot dog. Will you do the honors, my friend, and top it like with a fried egg? This sandwich. is like, I mean, who says you can't eat uh, hot dogs for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, right? I could eat this on my commute to work. <laughs> can you? <laughs> Try. I would love I would love to see that There's and just a reminder of all of these recipes are gonna be up on the website later You can't miss Grant's barbecue dog. That was Ooh. absolutely delicious. We're gonna take some bites out of this uh, It's it's not gonna be clean, but You ready to give it a try? I think so. It looks like it's gonna be really hot. I know this is for my Jersey peeps guys So do we have any uh, comments on the uh, Taylor ham and pork roll? I know we've got a fellow Jersey guy right behind the camera here, and he was calling it uh, Taylor ham He also grew up in northern New Jersey it is hot. It's very hot. Mm. But it's so good. Right? I mean, I didn't think you could make a breakfast sandwich any better, but if you had a hot dog... You don't... There's no way you can go wrong. This is incredible. Have you ever it's had like, a Taylor ham egg and cheese? I know you're from Ohio, I have, but... I've had it once, um, and it's really good. It's really different. I thought it was just going to be like ham, but it's a little bit different. It is. Um, it's like you were saying, like Canadian bacon almost. Mm -hmm, yeah, if you can't find Taylor ham or pork roll, Canadian bacon works like great. It's almost like salami meets Canadian bacon, yeah. if that's possible. Yeah. It's possible. Um, Leandra commented and said her family makes an amazing hot sauce for hot dogs. Yeah. That, that sounds really good. All right. Um, so I'm going to come down here and start on our hot dog um, number three. Our third hot dog. <laughs> um, this is a bacon wrapped hot dog. Um, so this is how you wrap a hot dog in bacon, or this is how I like to do it, because there's a few steps that you need to know. Um, first, you just take a, I use a pretty thin slice of bacon. You just wrap it around your hot dog. And then you want to make sure that you secure it with a toothpick because otherwise the bacon is going to start to fall off the hot dog as it cooks on the grill. And another great tip is you always want to start the hot dog um, with, if it has bacon on it, on the cold side of the grill because you want that bacon to render out and get nice and crispy. Otherwise, if you throw it onto the hot side, it's going to burn and it, it's going to be a little chewy, I would think. Um, so these guys cooked on the cold side of the grill. I'm going to move them over to the hot side and just let them crisp up a little bit. I'm gonna put this one on the cold side. Who doesn't love a bacon? And now dog? we'll get started on our topic. Let's do it. Hi to Lu oh Louise says that she loves hot dogs with sweet corn. 
That sounds really yummy. Ooh, yummy. And Liliana says hi from Brownville, Texas. Hi Liliana. hi, Liliana. Cheers to you. I'm drinking our Prosecco, which was a right uh, comment from last week from our friend Anna. Anna, you win today. This <laughs> is so great. And you saw how quick that came together. I shook it for about four or five minutes. So, so yummy. Michelle is asking if Taylor Ham's the same thing as bologna. It is not. But if it's not something that you can find in your area, you can absolutely sub this yeah, out with bologna. bologna. Yeah, because that's probably a similar way people fry bologna is they put some slits in the side so that it stays nice yeah. and flat. Grant, Karen's um, watching from Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi? Hello, Karen. Hello, Karen. <laughs> that's amazing. That's really cool. Sounds really far away. Um, so Jeanette just made her New Jersey style sort of breakfast dog, right? It yes, was like it a... Um, a pork roll egg and cheese sandwich turned into a hot dog. Mm. I'm about to make a New York style bagel hot dog. <laughs> we're going back so over the bridge. <laughs> we're going back over the bridge. Um, so my favorite thing to get on, or my breakfast order is always a whole wheat everything bagel with some scallion cream cheese. So I just wrapped my bacon, or my hot dog in a little bit of bacon, and now I'm going to make a scallion cream cheese. Now if Rachel were making this hot dog, she would probably make a veggie cream cheese because she mm -hmm. loves veggie cream cheese on her bagels, which she doesn't eat she very often, but every now and then she has a bagel. We have a nice little bagel morning every yeah. once in a while in here. Who doesn't eat a good bagel? Um, but basically what I'm getting at is if you make this dog, whatever you put on a bagel, put that on top of your hot dog. Um, so I'm going to mix up our scallions with <laughs> bagels our Bagels are so cheese. out and hot dogs are so in. Totally. <laughs> Richard said we're baking him crazy. Ooh, Get it? Bacon? We're honey, baking him crazy. Honey, Richard. And Emilio says good morning from Madera, California. Good morning, Emilio. Good morning. Maybe you want to make a Formosa. <laughs> <laughs> You know who should make a Formosa tonight? Oh. It's my parents' anniversary. Oh, happy anniversary, fun? Pam and Wendell. Pam and Wendell, you guys should make Formosa. Cheers to you from our, our zip top bag. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I just mixed up our cream cheese with our scallions, oh. and now I think we're ready to build a dog. I'm sorry, I'm just so distracted by how delicious this bacon wrapped hot dog smells. I know, right? Doesn't that look good? Oh, my so goodness. I'm going to take the toothpicks out of there because you don't want that to be your secret. Do you need to help? I'm just sitting here sipping for a second. No, I'm okay. your drink. I'm just going to make you a hot dog. <laughs> um, so I'm going to put our bacon wrapped hot dog. Oh in the bun and mm. top it with some scallion cream cheese. This is my little slathering tool, I like to call it. It's just a, um... It's a spreader. It's a spreader. <laughs> You're calling it a slathering tool all morning. That's what I use it for. It's a spreader. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to spread some of our scallion mm. cream cheese in there. Mm -hmm. Now my other favorite bagel order is a lox and cream cheese bagel. And whenever you order that, for the most part, it comes with some cucumber, tomato, and red onion. So that's what I'm going to top my mm. dog with. Kelly's watching from the Philippines. Oh, That's hello, also Kelly. extremely far away. Hello to Kelly in the Philippines. And Shelly says that she likes to stuff her dogs with cheese. Oh, we should stuff our dogs with cheese next time we wrap before we wrap them in bacon. Well, that's a good idea. That is a really good idea. All right. So now, oh, this is my last. This is my secret ingredient. Oh, it's not a secret anymore. Here, Jeanette, here's your Thanks. hot dog. This is some everything bagel spice. Um, it's just some poppy seeds mixed with sesame seeds, some um, mm. dried onion, dried garlic, and some coarse Smells sea salt. So, so this is like an everything bagel hot dog with plenty of veggies on top as well. One of our friends, Matthew, commented, and he says that he only wants to drink beverages from bags from now on. <laughs> <laughs> We're really setting the bar high here on Facebook Cups Live. Cups are out of style. It's cups all about are drinking so, out of the Okay, bag so, so far we've learned today that cups and bagels, both out of style. Out of style. Drinking out of a zip-top baggie and hot dogs are in. I'm going to cut this in half so we can enjoy this Oh, totally, here. yeah. Um, sorry. That's right. Um, Amber said, what about hot dogs with uh, bacon baked beans? That sounds yeah. really yummy. Oh, I love baked I love, beans. Yeah, baked beans is one of my I love. I grew up eating baked beans whenever we had hot dogs and they'd always be on the plate. And I loved when the baked bean like juice got into the hot dog. Mm -hmm. That actually kind of tastes like that barbecue hot dog that you made earlier today. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. That is so good. Oh my God. Bacon hot dogs nice for breakfast. Crispy. Forever. Hot dogs for every meal. Oh my God, I'm like speechless. It's so good. Um, Thelma is uh, watching from Norfolk, Nebraska. Hi, Thelma. And her son loves these hot dogs. Oh. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, Mary says hi from London, Ontario. Hi, Mary. Hello, Mary. Um, oh so we God. just, if you guys are just now tuning in, today we are celebrating all things hot dog because it's the dog days of it summer. It is the dog days of so summer. So far we've made three hot dogs. We made a uh, barbecue coleslaw dog. Jeanette made a um, egg and cheese pork roll I dog. Did. They're all on the back counter. Sure. <laughs> they were like, it's like, like, it's like hot dog is. carnage everywhere. <laughs> I made a New York bagel dog, and Jeanette's about to bring it home with the last hot dog. I am. This was And this one is, so what is our next oh, one? Oh, this is, okay, so I'm really excited about showing you guys this technique, because this is something, it's a kind of a combination of a few of my favorite things. This is a stuffed pretzel dog. So, um, so I'm gonna, we're going to do it together. Okay, cool. So I've got a lot of buns here. 
And um, these are pretzel rolls, and you can just pick these up at the store. Check out all those um, buns. Yeah, we got a lot of buns, but I wanted to show you guys um, a couple different rolls because if you can't find these, you can absolutely make this recipe with any kind of hoagie roll. These yeah. are some beautiful sesame rolls I found. So it's pretty much just the technique, and then you guys will be able to switch out what uh, what you put in it. So what I'm going to do is, I was in Hawaii a few years back, and I went to this place called, is it called Puka Dogs? I think it's called Puka, Puka Dogs. Dogs. I've and never been there, but what I've they do it. is that they serve a hot dog, and they've got this incredible tool. It almost looks like a curling iron, and they stick it in there and they like warm the inside and they pull out all the center Whoa. and I love that because you put all of your toppings in here That's fun. and it's like a hot dog to go like, it's like a hot dog sandwich I uh, yeah it's really it is like a hot dog sandwich so um, how I do this is I just take a serrated knife a long serrated knife and I just cut down into the hoagie roll very carefully I'm and I'm just gonna time. I'm just gonna pull all the center out um, Becky is watching from Gads Gadsden, Gadsden, Alabama. Hi, Becky. Um, and Ray says, I'm going on a hot dog diet. Now, that's a diet I'd love to be on. <laughs> hot dogs and Prosecco. Hot dogs and champagne. Sign me up. It's the new Atkins. Also, the fact um, that we were eating hot dogs and champagne makes me really happy today. Totally. <laughs> Oh, there went your middle. middle I was going to say, out. if you, you know, once you take the center out of this, um, you can definitely toast whatever, you know, you don't want to waste bread. Rachel always says that she puts her extra bread ends and middles into the freezer. Yeah. And when you've got a big bag of them, all you have to do is um, just toast them up and you can make your own very fresh breadcrumbs. You can just eat it. Or you can just eat it because it's a pretzel roll and it's delicious. I don't know about you, but pretzels are one of my favorite, all time favorite foods. Me too. We I love, love, love pretzels. Um, all right, so oh, Karina commented that she hopes that we make a burger video. I think we've been celebrating the that hot dog. Fun. That would be really fun. Um, just to remind you guys, this is our fourth hot dog recipe. This is. But if you liked um, any of these that you saw today, all these recipes will be up on the Facebook page later today. Yes, so make will. sure you come check those out. Um, and Crystal said you should make a pizza supreme Ooh. dog. That sounds yummy. A pizza dog sounds good. We never thought uh, when of that. When I was Karina. a kid, I used to put hot dogs on my pizza. Ooh. I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, kids I put hot dogs, hot dogs on dogs. <laughs> Any of these recipes would be so good for kids. I especially like this one because it stays nice and contained so your kids don't make a huge yeah. mess. All right, so I don't know if you could see the inside of that roll, but Grant, you did a great job too. Thanks. We just hollowed it out. Look in there. So um, what I do is I pop them in the oven now, and I've got some in here just to warm them up. Yeah. You know, just cause, It's like a warm pretzel. Oh, that's a warm pretzel, exactly. So um, I, am go I have some chicken hot dogs griddling down here. Um, but you can put any hot dog you'd like. And I'm going to stuff the hot dogs. Now, at this point, you can put ketchup, mustard, relish, sauerkraut, anything you want in there, and it's really going to stay. Yum. But there's something about the pretzel spirit of today's pretzel stuffed hot dog that kind of made me think like German beer hall. Totally, So yeah. what I did is I just made a basic roux. I made some, it was just some butter, some flour, a little bit of milk, and then I did half milk, half beer. Yeah. And I thought that that was that fun. So you got good. that like beer cheesy flavor. I don't drink flavor. beer very often, but whenever I do, I want like a giant pretzel. Exactly. Because exactly. it's just like the perfect thing to go with the beer. It's nice and salty. Um, Jika is watching and says, uh, love you both and love Aww, the hot dogs. Thanks, Jika. Love you, Jika. So, um, and Deborah from Dallas is watching. Oh, hi, Deborah. Hello, Deborah. I just melted some cheese into this sauce and look how like, woo, Ooh, yummy. look at that cheese sauce. I would just dip hot dogs I in there. <laughs> I don't even need the bun. Well, maybe we'll keep Low the carb. camera going. <laughs> Look, our hot dogs and cheese. <laughs> maybe we'll keep the cameras going. You're totally getting a glimpse into what we're eating for lunch today. Um, all right, so I'm going to just, I'll show you guys how to assemble this. So you know, warm, um, these, oh, are these are the warm, warm ones. ones. Yep. And um, Venus, Vita, Vina Vina, says that hi, she Vina. makes uh, quesadilla hot dogs wrapped in cheese and a flour tortilla. Oh, that's really funny, Ooh. Vina. Did you catch on Tuesday? We did Taco Tuesday and Grant made. I don't even want to talk about it because Vina just outdid me. She just did me one up. <laughs> But I made a quesadilla style taco, which was really yummy. It was a taco wrapped um, in a quesadilla. Angelica asked, what's Rachel's favorite hot dog? Um, Rachel likes, Rachel loves a Chicago dog. Yeah, she does. She does, she loves a Chicago dog. Um, Rachel always makes like sausages and brats too. I always think yeah. of, whenever I think of, um, whenever I see brats, I always think of her. She's got some great recipes for that online as well. So right now we're stuffing the inside of our uh, pretzel shell, I guess you could call this it. This is so fun. With a beer cheese sauce. So we just stick it right down in there? Right down in there, yeah. And oh so, gosh. I mean, this is, and I think it's a nice, um, you know, we're always looking for, and you guys are always writing in to say that you're always looking for different ideas for the lunchbox. Here's a really fun way to switch it out. You know, like switch out the peanut butter and jelly or salami sandwiches. This wraps up really nicely. Hot dogs for dinner. What kid wouldn't be sick? If somebody whipped this out of their lunchbox, I'd have some major lunchbox. So envy. jealous, right? Yeah. All right. And so now I just. Fun. It's like painting. It is kind of like painting. You want to roll it around and make sure that the cheese gets all around in there. But actually when you shove the hot dog in, it kind of pushes the cheese up the sides. Are you ready for your dog? Um, yes. You are. <laughs> so I'm having a lot of fun doing this. I wasn't even listening to you. Put it in there. Um, Odina says she makes hot dogs with melted cheese, caramelized onions, and white onions. Oh, that's fun. That sounds really good, Odina. This is so right, fun. This is really fun. It's like a little hot dog Cheers. Sandwich. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. 
just good. It's like you're at the beer hall. You're at the German beer hall. I know. I need a beer. Amy commented and she said she loves Reuben dogs. That's a really fun. That is really good. You can make this one into a Reuben dog. Just Absolutely. stuff some sauerkraut in there and dip it in mustard. This I would like be a fun it. one to dip too. It would be. A little dip. It really would be. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching today. We are going to be back There's tomorrow. hot dogs everywhere. I know. <laughs> It's the kind of disaster I like. Everywhere I look, there's a hot dog. Um, so um, we're going to be back tomorrow making some french fries. So make sure you come back tomorrow and check that out. Yeah, we are. Uh, but all these recipes will be online later today um, on the Facebook page. So if mm -hmm. you liked what you uh, saw, make sure you come back and get those. Um, we have one more comment from Susan. Hi, Susan. Um, extra napkins for that hot we dog. Need, um, You're not wrong, Susan. We need a lot of napkins. We this need a lot dangerous. of things in here today. <laughs> um, so if you like what you saw today, make sure you like, comment, share, and cook. But we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Over Friday. I can't wait. Friday. Friday. Ooh.